Hi everyone, this is Jean. Are you ready for Christmas? Well, it's just a few days away and just in case you are running low on gift hacks, let me show you how you can make your own with your Silhouette Studio program. Now, before I even start on my project, I like to define the finished size of my gift hacks and I do that by using a rectangle and I will set the size of this rectangle to about two and a half by four and a half inches and next I will import an image from the new lettering delight Nancy happy holiday graphics set now if you are using the cut it version of this set you can use the SVG um, to make your gift tags with this print and cut tutorial but there will be some slight modification to the di directions. I will elaborate on that later. So let's import this bear and it comes in at a really big size. So let's lock the aspect ratio and reduce the width to 2 inches and position the bear inside the rectangle. Now because I am using a graphic, I will need to um, do a quick trace. If you are using the SVG, you can skip this step. So let's uncheck high pass filter and pump up the threshold to 100% and click trace. So now the trace is done. And for the label, I will use a rounded corner rectangle. And this time, I will size this rectangle to about 2 by 1.2 inches. And I'm going to position it right here. And so now with the rounded rectangle selected, I'm going to hold down my shift key and select the traced outline of the bear to make a shadow layer and I do that by clicking on the offset button I click offset and I will reduce the size of the offset distance until the legs of the bear just touches the rectangle and I will click apply now I do not want this hole in the middle of the tag so I'm going to remove it by right clicking and selecting release compound path and now I can delete this hole away like that now I want to make the frame for the label a little fancy so I will click on it and select the and use the rhinestone tool to make a frame with circles or dots and I'm going to adjust the rhinestone, rhinestone spacing so that the circles are closer and I will fill the circles with red I think it looks pretty festive this way and now for the text I will be using the Lettering Delights font, LD Little Piggy. And I'm going to set the text size to say 14 points. So I'm typing to and from. And I'm, I will fill the letters up with black. And let's adjust it so that um, I think it looks nicer here. And so at this point, I really don't need the original rectangle anymore. And I want to make a tab next to string my ribbon or my twine. So I'm going to just draw two circles. And that is about 0 0.3 inches. I will do a Ctrl C and a Ctrl V to duplicate this circle and reduce the size of the second to about 0 0.1 inch 
and I'm going to move both of these circles closer to the tag and I'm going to weld the bigger circle to the tag and now I have my um, tab let's reduce the size of the smaller circle a little bit more now it's about 0 0.08 inch okay so basically we are actually almost done here I just want to make sure that all these outlines are made invisible so I will change the line color to transparent except for the tag the line for the tag and the 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 hole for the twine or ribbon. For these two, I will change it to a grey colour so that I can still see um, where the lines are but it will, when it is printed out, it will not be printed out in red. That is just so that when it is um, cut out, it wouldn't look funky and with this red edged. That's all. And finally, before we sent it to print and cut, let's just make sure that all the outlines, that all the cut lines are turned off and set to no cut except for the line for the tag and the ribbon or twine hold. So basically we're done. So all that is left to do is to actually print and cut like that and you can fill your page to maximize your cut stock all right so i'm just going to do a control a a control c and a control v to make it two rows and to fill the page up like that and now if you want to refer to the written instructions of this tutorial or to see more pictures of my finished tags as well as the ones that I made um, with the SVG just head back to my blog under a cherry tree.com all right so I hope to see you there thanks for watching this video bye